Hey, this is Lewis from Oxygen, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Transforms feature of Oxygen to create the rotation effect you see here. Basically, we have two columns, and in the left column, we have some images, and uh, this group of images has been rotated, been transformed to the right, which adds a lot of visual interest, create this cool overlap effect, uh, etc. So let's go ahead and create this in Oxygen. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and add in a section. And then since we have a yellow column and a white column, I'm going to go ahead and add in a columns. And we'll choose 50-50 width for now. We can change the width later. And I'm going to set the left column to the shade of yellow I want. So that's going to be about 80% to the right side of the color picker at the top. And then just drag down the hue slider until we get the hue we want, which is right about here. Now I'm going to make this section full width, so there's no padding or uh, margins above or to the side of the section. So to do that, I'm going to go to the section, go to Advanced, Size and Spacing, and under Section Container Width, I'm going to choose Full Width. Then I'm going to remove all of the padding from the section. So zero, apply all, and now I've got a full width section. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and set this column to be 60% width. And now let's go ahead and add in the text on the right. So I'm going to click the right column, go Add, Heading. I'm going to choose Montserrat as the font. Uh, let's enter in Radical Rotation Effect. Let's go to Advanced, Typography, uh, set it to black, center everything, uh, line height of 1.2. And then let's make the font bigger until we get one word on each line. Okay. That looks perfect. Now let's go ahead and add in the images. So to do that, we actually have three columns of images here. So I'm going to add in another columns element. You go add columns. And I'm going to drag this columns element into the left column here. And now I'm going to choose a 33, 33, 33 layout, thirds. And then in each column, I'm going to go ahead and add in my images. So go add image. And I'm going to give this image a class because we're going to apply sort of the same shadow effect to all the images. I want to do it all in one place. I'm going to just call this uh, angled shadow image. And now I'll go ahead and choose the first image from the library. Let's duplicate. Choose the next image. Duplicate. Choose the third image. Four. Five, six, and seven. Okay, there we go. Now I'll drag these around to a range. And the first thing I'm going to do is add 40 pixels of margin below each of these images. So you can go to all style, size, and spacing margin, or you can just drag down until you think it looks Good. I'm going to go with 40 because there's 20 pixels of spacing on the left and right side of these columns by default, so that'll keep them all equally spaced out. And now let's go ahead and arrange these in a cool way. So something like that looks good. And then let's vertically center the column. So you click each column and under vertical item alignment, choose middle. And now let's go ahead and add shadows on the images. So just click any image, and since we chose a class, those styles are going to apply to all images. Go to Advanced, Effects, Box Shadow. Let's go with a black shadow. We'll adjust the transparency a little bit. A 20 pixel offset, a 50 pixel blur, and negative 20 pixel spread. Let's go with a 40 pixel offset, actually. And then... Let's change the opacity down to say something like 0 0.4, 0 0.5. And there we go. Now we've got uh, our shadow effect on, oh, whoops, don't click inset. We don't want to do that. And there we go. There we've got our shadow effect on all of our images. That makes them pop off the page nicely. Now all we have to do is rotate these images. So to do that, we're going to rotate the columns, actually, the, the whole column group that these images are in. So go up to the columns element, which if you can't see it here, you just go to the structure panel and choose the columns. And we're going to go to advanced, effects, transform, and we're going to add a transform. So click add transform. 
and rotate is the default transform. There are others available. I'm going to choose rotate, and we're going to rotate this, say, 10 degrees, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20 degrees. Looks pretty good. And now let's go ahead and center the text here. So we'll click the other column and vertically align in the middle. And there we go. There's the effect. Now for even more visual interest, we can set up a negative margin on these images to create an overlap effect on the top and the bottom. So to do that, we'll go back to the columns group that contains the images, go to advanced layout, or sorry, go to advanced size and spacing. Let's give it a negative margin of 100. You see that moves it up. Maybe 100 is too much. Let's go with negative 76. And on the bottom, let's try negative 50. No, it's not enough. Let's go up negative 70, negative 80. I, all right, negative 120 looks pretty good there. And there we go. Now we don't want these images popping out the bottom of the section either. So go to the section, go to advanced, layout, overflow, hidden. And there we go. That is how to create the radical rotation effect using the transforms feature of Oxygen. Again, this is Lewis from SoFly, and thank you very much for watching.